Good morning. It's been a minute. What is freaking up, you guys? It's Tiffany. I have not vlogged in literally almost a month, and it literally, literally, I can't even speak. It feels so weird putting the camera on again. I really just haven't been vlogging over the last couple of weeks, so I figured I would give you guys kind of like a life update. I stopped by the house today, and I am gonna still film episodes of the flip. Saw the house today, amazing things are happening. The permits are still not here yet. We're still waiting for those permits, but we still are working on the house. I just haven't been visiting the house as often because all of the stuff that we're working on is like the boring stuff, like drainage and the foundation. It's one, really hard to film, two, very boring, three, very time consuming so it happens over the course of a few days instead of happening like within like a few hours because when i first started the flip it was super easy to film everything because if i'm knocking down a wall you can see it being knocked down versus like pouring concrete for foundation it's just not as interesting matt and i actually had to move out of the house for about a week we ended up going to denver for a whole week because we we're forced to leave the house because our house needed to be fumigated for termites if you guys live in la or california in general you guys know that Termites are a big thing because homes in California are made out of wood versus like in other cities or states or countries they're made out of like brick or other types of like materials. Matt went all out on Valentine's Day and like booked us a trip to Denver and that was like super fun and it was like the same weekend the termites were happening and I was just super stressed out that I didn't vlog anything and then once we were in Denver I just felt like I couldn't vlog because we were on vacation mode and then once we got back to LA my sister came to town for a week as well so like I just haven't been able to vlog because I don't really enjoy vlogging when my sister's in town. I just like to hang out with her. So we're back on the YouTube grind, I promise you guys. Now that I haven't been able to do a lot over the last few weeks, today we're gonna clean a bunch. But before we clean, I am gonna eat food. I'm so hungry. Because of the termites, we had to throw away a bunch of foods because for termites, if you're getting your house fumigated, you have to stick all of your food in these giant plastic bags. But they only give you so many of those bags. So we filled all the bags up and then we had to throw out a bunch of food. So I'm gonna show you guys our pantry. It's so empty. This is like the least amount of food I've ever seen in our fridge. There is like nothing in here. What is this? We got beers, we got salsas, we got egg, bread, guacamole, and salmon. We got pork chops, more drinks, a one cucumber, a bag of broccoli, and a bunch of dips and sauces, and butter, and wine. Like literally no food is in here. We need to do a little restock of our fridge, but I'm really hungry, so let's make some food. I'm so happy when I get a good avocado because I feel like I always get really bad ones. Matt always does me right when he buys me an avocado. my lunch for today. I have been snacking on a bunch of Girl Scout cookies all day long today. So I am having a little bit of a lighter lunch. I just did the Kylie Jenner avocado toast. I've been doing this for years now. And it's just avocado on sourdough bread with some salt, chili flakes, and honey. And it's so freaking good. I will never get tired of this meal. So I have so many packages that I figured we would open up together. I have not done a PR box unboxing since 2021. We are mid-March. March 14th, my birthday is March 31st. Like I, I need to start getting rid of those PR packages. I need to open all of them up. So we're gonna open them up together today. I don't wanna say it, but it might be like the most packages I've ever gotten. Like it's not gonna look like a lot physically because all the packages I've ever realized are like small packages. Hopefully there's a lot of good stuff in there. I'm kind of excited to open them, but also like dreading it at the same time because it's so many packages, but we're gonna do it together after I eat. <laughs> is about to be so upset at me because I'm just gonna make this dining room into a mess. Ow, my finger, ow. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. 
don't even know where to put these boxes. guys these are all the boxes that we got in the last three months this is insane like it's not gonna look like a lot physically let's do a quick count i have one two three four five six seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty nine thirty and the cherry on top we also got two more boxes right on top all right, so we have 32 packages. This is by far the biggest PR I've ever done. Matt is gonna be home in like an hour or two. He's currently playing basketball right now. So I wanna make sure that I don't leave him a mess when he gets home. So I'm gonna try to open all these boxes and clean everything up. Let's just start, I guess. All right, we got like two regular size packages. Both of these I'm pretty sure I purchased myself. So these aren't exactly PR. First things first, I got, oh, I, I need these. I got new toothbrush heads for my Philips Sonicare toothbrush. And then I also got Zoe, her chewables for her bladder. Zoe has incontinence. I don't know if you guys have ever had a dog that has that, but they'll just randomly leak pee if they get too excited or if they're like not even paying attention. I've had times where Zoe's literally sleeping on me and she'll get up and all of a sudden there's like a giant puddle. I talked to her vet about it and apparently when female dogs get spayed it's actually not super common but it does happen where they somehow develop incontinence ever since i got her these tablets or these chews it's helped so much the next things i got is from melissa palmieri i'm gonna guess this is a pr brand oh it's from lime crime whoa it's so many lipsticks I remember when I was first starting it on YouTube, everyone loved Lime Crime. I love that they're not crazy colors because that's kind of what like Lime Crime is famous for. <gasps> Whoa, that is so pretty. Oh, wow. She's pigmented. This is the Soft Touch Lime Crime lipsticks and they gave me a bunch of these. I like need a bucket. We have this bucket right here. I'm gonna put all my makeup that I get <laughs> in here. Okay, next box. But it is from Pims, New Jersey and normally this package is from NARS but this feels like too big of a package from NARS. It's from YSL, you guys. I still, I still cannot believe I'm on the YSL PR list. Okay, so it kind of broke the packaging. This is for their new YSL Black Opium perfume. How pretty. What does it smell like? Oh, oh my God, that smells so good. It kind of reminds me of like an apple teeny, but not as sweet or apple-y, but that smells so freaking good. I I love this scent. Huge fan. I don't know what else is in this box. Oh my god. The amount of times I've gotten a shaker in a PR box is insane, but I'm not gonna lie. This is definitely one I want to keep. It looks so beautiful. All right, which package next? Let's do this big giant white one. This one is like half my body size. It's like a puzzle. Oh! We'll grab those later. All right, the lighting is really weird in my dining room right now, so we are just gonna open packages in the living room. Okay. I'm struggling hardcore right now. I do not know why I'm struggling so damn much. All right, so this next package is from Ika. This is like the big giant white one that I've been wanting to open. What? The heck? Oh my God, this is like such a massive package for literally it not being filled up. <gasps> But I'm not. Oh my, I'm not mad about it. I have been wanting this forever. I've been waving my hair with a straightener and I've been meaning to purchase one of these wavers. Now I got one, now I got one. This is from the brand Mermaid Hair. This is so amazing, thank you guys so much. Are you kidding me? This is all I've been wanting. Please expect me to be doing my hair in waves every single fucking day for the next year or two because I'm obsessed with that hairstyle. All right, next thing I got for Mermaid Hair, I have like a whole kit filled with some hair ties. That's so nice. 
I got a baby comb. We got a bunch of these thin hair ties. I love these types of thin hair ties. We have gold bobby pins, a pony gel. I also got a beautiful hairbrush. Wow, this is like such a pretty color hairbrush. It's as if they knew exactly what I wanted to buy for my hair and then got it for me because that's all I want is a big, giant, massive clip like this. This is so cute. This next package we are opening is from Thyers. Thyers has like that amazing witch hazel toner that everyone loves. I actually started using it over the last few weeks. I get the hype. I understand the hype. I feel like my skin has never looked so clear. They've literally sent me seven of these. There's no way I'm gonna be using all of these. So I will definitely be giving this to friends and family. But I believe this is the facial mist that's unscented. I actually don't have this one yet. We also have, <gasps> There is a cucumber scent. Oh. So we got unscented and a cucumber scent. Dyers, if you guys are watching this, you guys need to stop sending this to me. I have like seven bottles of this. I'm already a huge fan. I'm so loyal, but I don't need that many of them. So thank you guys so much. That is amazing. This next box. It's from Paracone. I love Paracone. I'm obsessed with the Paracone CBD essence. Their skincare products are amazing. I'm a huge fan. <gasps> ah! Okay, sorry. That was so unnecessary. I got the Paracone MD Daily Brightening and Exfoliating Peel. It comes with like a beautiful little dropper as well. I just love their packaging. It just looks so clean and it looks like an apothecary. They also included a Cold Plasma Plus Concentrated Treatment Sheet Mask. I have not used a sheet mask in so long. I don't even think I own any at home. So I definitely wanna try this out. Hell yeah, thank you guys so much. Next package is from Premier Press. Okay, the brand is K Skin. Ooh, Winnie Harlow is the face of it. I wonder if she owns this brand, if this is her brand. Oh, well, this is, oh my God, it is Winnie Harlow's brand. Is that a box of sand? Is this a, oh my God, it's literally, why? Why am I getting a box of sand? That just spilled sand all over. I literally, it's a box of sand. There's literally a hole. <laughs> in my little sand pouch. Here's a bunch of sand. Does anyone need sand? All right, we got a sunscreen. Beautiful. We also have a lip balm. All right, let's test out the lip balm. Ooh, it smells really good too. Definitely wanna use this. This is a pearlescent face sunscreen. Oh, wait, that's so pretty. Can you guys see this? That is beautiful. And that's SPF 45. That's so pretty. Thank you, Winnie. Apparently I was supposed to open this box a certain way. Didn't happen. There was directions I did not read until just now. All right, next box is this baby box from Peach and Lily. I love that they're not wasting any space. All right, we have the Power Cocktail Lactic Acid Repair. Oh, serum. I love me a good lactic acid serum. I actually received this in the beginning of February. I went to their event. Highly, highly recommend this product. I really like it. All right, we're opening the next box. It's Glow Recipe. I love Glow Recipe. I'm currently obsessed with their avocado serum. Their avocado serum, my serum, it's so good. This looks like a new product. This is their Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Sunscreen. Oh, I love me. A freaking scented sunscreen. Contains a watermelon extract, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and aloe vera. I feel like sunscreens always have like this weird scent to it. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, I thought this would smell like the rest of Glow Recipes line. Like all of Glow Recipes products smell so good. This one has like a very, very slight watermelon, watermelon -y scent, but it still smells like a sunscreen. So thank you guys so much. We have a package from Rayelle. Rayelle is a tampon slash skincare brand and I love their feminine wipes a lot. And I wonder what they sent me. Okay, what do we have? Oh. We have something for cramps. Do you guys see that? That is definitely something for cramps. This is a supersized heating pack. Oh, I've used their heating patches before. They are amazing. If you're ever having like a period cramp or just like a cramp or your stomach hurts, my favorite thing to do is whenever I have a tummy ache, the best thing that can help my stomach ache every single time is like a heating pad. I will literally grab Matt's hand because his hands are always way warmer than my body and just like stick it on my stomach and it makes me feel so much better. And these patches also help with that as well. Sweet, thank you guys so much. What is in here though? I'm curious. A reusable period underwear. Interesting. 
the amount of TikTok ads I've gotten about reusable period underwear, I for some reason thought these would be a lot thicker. This is only for like a light day and I don't know, I don't even know how long you can wear it for. It's definitely not for a heavy day. All right, the next package is from Youth to the People. We love a good skincare brand. What do we have here? Oh, interesting. Let's do this together. Okay, this is a retinol from Youth to the People. Whoa, this package is so cool. There's like packages within packages. There's so many packages within packages. So this is the retinol and niacinamide needs serum, smooth and transform. I love retinol. If you guys are my age, AKA like, mid to late 20s, it's time to start using retinol in your life. So this is supposed to visibly reduce fine lines and wrinkles, smooth textured and blemished skin and even skin tone. All the things I need in life. Oh, this is from Smashbox. She's heavy. Oh, is it primer? Guys, can you guys let me know what is your favorite primer? I've been starting to like use primers again. The first makeup product I've ever, ever purchased online was actually the Smashbox Green Primer that was meant for red, red skin. That was the first makeup product I ever bought. I bought the mini size, it was $17. I thought it was so expensive because before that, I was only used to buying like makeup from Target that was like $8. So Smashbox has like, a home in my heart. And now the look is even different because this is exactly the primer that I purchased, but now it looks so different. Hell yeah, I'm super excited about this. Oh, so it looks like they changed their formulas a little bit so it has more skincare benefits to your skin with all those primers. So let me like tilt you guys down a little bit so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Oh, this is Kate Somerville. Hell yeah, I love Kate. <gasps> It's the Exfoliate Resurfacing Body Scrub. I love the Exfoliate for your face. This is like the two minute facial for your freaking body. Are you kidding me? Also, look how satisfying that opens. That opens so funny. I'm excited to use this. We have Living Proof. I love a good Living Proof product. One of my favorite hair care brands out there, obsessed with their dry texture spray. We have a little scrunchie in purple. Oh, it's a giant scrunchie. These are a bunch of those like tiny little clear rubber bands for your hair. My favorite, full dry volume and texture spray. I was just telling you guys about this. This shit is amazing. What is this? Well, we got a cute little cup. It says, may your day be as nice as your hair. This is a Bluetooth speaker. Wait, that's so nice like and so random. It's a shower speaker. I'm sorry, I didn't know it was a shower speaker. Now I'm like, four times as excited about it. That is so nice. And that was everything in the box. Wow, so cool. Next box is from Janice T. Oh, it's from Zitstika. Oh, wow, I think they just launched at Target. Wow, I didn't realize how many products they have, but they gave me a whole line of stuff. They literally gave me everything. Wow, that's so nice. We got a hyperfade dark spot patch. This is for if you're scarring from your zit or pimple or whatever it is. Then we have a deep access patch. This is for like a hidden cystic acne pimple, I believe. We got a soothing mask. These are hydrocolloid patches. These are the patches where you like stick it on any zit that's on the surface and the next day you'll see all the gunk out of it and it flattens it and everything. These work so well. I got an oil to milk cleanser from Coco Kind. I used to only use oil cleansers, then I stopped. And then now I'm getting back into them and I actually need to try out some other brands. Oh yes, I will definitely be using this guy. We got a moisturizing gel cream from Verse. Oh my God, we got the cutest little multi-use blush from Well People. Oh. That'd be really beautiful to also put onto your lips. Oh, and I got a Frank's body scrub. Oh, it's the co the famous coffee scrub. I've actually always wanted to try the Frank's body scrub. I've never tried it before. So. All right, next package we have is from Milani Cosmetics. What is this? We have a lash and brow serum. It's as if you guys knew that I was struggling with my eyelashes. I've been using castor oil on my eyelashes for like the longest time. And then two months ago, I started getting eyelash extensions again and I completely regret it. And now I don't know where my castor oil is. I've been looking for a lash serum to use or a brow serum to use. Super excited about that. So thank you guys so much. We'll definitely be trying this out. Guys, I filled up my bucket. Remember earlier I showed you guys that I was gonna put all my makeup in a bucket? She's filled. She's filled. Okay, next package is from Velour Beauty. This is eyelashes. These are hemp-derived lashes. Pretty. <gasps> 
so nice and we also have a 24-hour lash care kit it's as if everyone knew i got another lash serum and a pretty big deal mascara so now we have two lash serums that i can start using matthew just got home and i still have the house in disarray okay so this is from skylar.com i believe this is a perfume brand Ooh, this they have a coconut cove fragrance with bergamot coconut and amber Bro. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my god, that smells so freaking good. Okay, it's getting darker in this house and I still need to clean. Okay, this is gonna be the last box for today. I'm gonna open the rest of them tomorrow because Matt just got home and I just want to clean up the entire space. Holy Don't worry. What? Don't worry? How am I not supposed to worry? This looks like a bunch of boxes that I'm gonna have to take care of. Well, I'm gonna stick it in this spot. No, you're gonna help me take them out. Or that, yeah. Uh -huh. oh. I got the coolest little hair waver for my hair. Wow. And I'm super excited about it. Tasha just came out with a new formula for their sunscreen. I've gotten so much sunscreen. I love Tasha's products. Oh, that is a cool bottle. That's so cool. We're gonna just clean up the rest of these boxes and I'll update you guys more tomorrow. I cleaned the floors. I have more to do, but that'll be for tomorrow. And Matt just made us dinner. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but the first 27 years of my life, never had pork in my life. And over the last two years, I've fallen in love with pork. I love it so much. It's so good. And Matt makes the best pork chops with like rice and sweet potatoes. Look at this beauty. Oh, I love the fatty pieces. People who don't like the fatty pieces of like meat, y'all can suck my... <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that, but you guys just suck. You guys just don't enjoy life and food. But we're gonna eat and we're gonna watch some TV. Today is literally the finale of Bachelor. I'm so excited to watch it. I might make Matthew watch it with me. Absolutely not. You make me watch basketball all watch the time. It. Okay, you can watch something else while I watch it. All right, let's do the first bite together. Mm. <laughs> is it good? Mm-hmm. It's so good. Thank you. <laughs> hey guys, it's the next morning right now and Matt and I just spent the morning going to the Audi dealership because Matt wants to get a new car from Audi. We ended up not getting anything because all the cars were sold out, which I knew about to begin with, that we weren't gonna get a car. So either way, my morning has been all thrown off. It's like 5, 10 p.m. right now. I have a meeting in 20 minutes, but before it gets dark again, I really wanna open all these boxes so that you guys get to see them. I have three more boxes to open on top of that as well because I just got three packages yesterday. Today. Either way, with that being said, I easily get overwhelmed sometimes. And today's one of those days I just feel a little overwhelmed because I also don't want to go into this meeting that I have in 20 minutes. But with that being said, let's open up some boxes and maybe feel a little bit better about ourselves. All right, we have all these boxes. First one being Pixie. I literally have 20 minutes, so I'm sorry if I go through them really fast. We got a bunch of new stuff in their rose oil collection. The next box we have, oh, nice. We got a package from Revlon. This is your wake up call. It looks like it's in like a coffee bag, which is so cool. Look at this. It looks like a coffee bag. Oh, what? Oh, wow. We got like every shade of concealer. This is their five in one concealer with caffeine and vitamin C sweet. All right, we got a package from Dermalogica. Such an amazing skincare brand. Super excited to see what they've launched now. Matt is gonna love that I got this. I got a liquid IV hydration multiplier. Um, Super awesome. Matt loves this stuff. He's been drinking it all the fucking time. And I got a circular hydration serum. It immediately floods skin with hydration, replenishes from within, and helps prevent future hydration evaporation. Cool, nice, thank you guys. We got another package from Glow Recipe. It says, hi Tiffany, Shh. you're the first to test the newest fruit coming to Glow Recipe. Top secret until March 29th. Why would you guys send it to me when when it's like two weeks away. Okay, I can't even show you guys what it is, but they came out with a new serum with a new fruit. Guess which fruit it is, but it's one of my favorite fruits ever. It's one of like everyone's favorite fruits ever. All right, guys, we are on a roll. We're going through these. We have a package from Redkin. I hope it's their blondage system. Ah. 
I love their system for blonde hair. This is their Blondage High Bright System. Oh, this is new. Hell yeah. Uh, we have their shampoo, conditioner, and their pre-treatment. Sweet. Thank you guys so much. We have another package from Too Faced. Oh, <gasps> what? How the world's most iconic mascara changed everything. The legend of better than sex. Whoa. It just, it's just one mascara in this giant box, but this is like a great box to hide stuff in. I can like hide cash or like a little, a little something, something, you know? All right, we're gonna open the next package. It's from Benefit. It says real life, unreal lashes. I feel like all of the makeup brands just knew that Tiffany Ma has been struggling with growing out her lashes. So I've been gifted a bunch of lashes, mascaras, and lash serum, which I'm not mad about. All right guys, next package feels really light and it's from Grapevine. Oh, that's so funny. I just got a package from an NFT project that I have invested in. It's called Desperate Ape Wives, and I forgot that they were sending this to me. It's a temporary tattoo kit. That's really cool. So it's a tattoo that has fragrance in it. So like the tattoo smells good for a long time. I don't really understand how it works, but that's really cool. And it is by Da, AKA Desperate Ape Wives. So definitely check out their project. That was very nice of them. So thank you guys so much. Then we have a package that was not wrapped. Oh, I got another pack. Wow, this is so old. This is happy Valentine's Day. As you guys can see, I haven't opened packages in a while, but this is from Hollywood Fashion Secrets. They send me a package almost every single month. Month. I have not been able to use all the things they send me, but their stuff is super, super necessary if you're a girl. Like these are non-slip shoe grips to put underneath your heels that lost their grips. This was liquid fashion tape. So if you have like a strap that keeps falling down, you can glue it onto your skin. This is oil blotting tissues. I always need that. No show concealers for your bra, you know, for those nipples. And they're super thin. Oh, I love. We got breast lift tape just to push your boobies up a little bit. Oh my God, yes. This is Skip the Line Adhesive Thong. If you ever wear those dresses that are like super high slit, or if you're wearing a dress where you can see your hips on it, yeah, like any sort of matty outfit from Euphoria, you definitely need these adhesive thongs. Guys, we are going through this so fast. I'm so proud of myself. Wow, I got a bunch of stuff in this box. It looks like it's from multiple brands because this brand is Nasific. I believe this is an Asian brand because I just see a bunch of Asian writing on the back of everything. A Sika serum. Sika is great if you have any redness around your skin. This is intensive repair cream from Dr. Athea. This is from the brand Yurang. All right, we got a box from Mirad. This is the Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Mask. I think they came out with a new... <gasps> what? We got Asian snacks, hot pepper paste flavor. Mm. Wait, that is such a weird flavor. It's more sweet than spicy it's throwing me off that there's peppers all over it when it's not spicy at all um i'd say this is like a three out of five we also got peppero which is like an off brand of pocky pocky's where it's at but peppero is very similar then they gave me a paraffin foot mask Ooh, i need that for sure <gasps> We got chopsticks. Ooh, and some pens. That's so cute. And then we got the product, which I'm pretty sure they want me to talk about. This is their new Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Mask. So you just like put it underneath your eyeballs to prevent any wrinkles and stuff like that. All right, we have four packages. This one is from Beach House PR. This says beauty should be fun. This is like, the perfect epitome of millennial pink. Everyone was obsessed with it. And now I never see this color anymore. This is from the brand Maria Nilla. Oh, we got some conditioner for your hair and shampoo. Why does it smell so good? Oh my God, what is that scent? That smells so good. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with that scent. It reminds me of like my childhood. Do you guys remember those L'Oreal shampoos that were in a fish? This is exactly what it smells like. And they even gave me a little scalp massager. If you guys want to help improve the shininess of your hair, help grow out your hair, and just help with blood circulation to your hair, get a scalp massager. I'm obsessed with using these scalp massagers. All right, we have this box right here. Ah, oh, interesting. 
Whoa. The, is, are these drinks? I think these are drinks you drink out of, and these are beautiful cups they gave us. So this is the eight greens. I know they have like lollipops that are made out of vegetables that are super healthy. This is like the same brand, but these are just like 10 tablets that I think you mix with water. Wow, that's so cool. Also, these glasses are so nice. All right, next box that we have is... <gasps> Oh my God, Matt is gonna love this. Sanzo. If you guys have never heard of Sanzo, I believe they're like the first brand of carbonated water that uses flavors that are Asian inspired. So this is, Cal is this Calamansi? Oh my God, is this their, <gasps> this is Yuzu. Okay, they have a Calamansi flavor, which is like a Filipino lime. So good. This is their Yuzu flavor and I think it's brand new. I'm super excited about this. It says, meet yuzu, lemony tart and paired perfectly with ginger for a balanced punch. I'm hiding these from Matthew because Matthew loves sparkling water and he will drink them all in like two days. So we're gonna hide these from him because I want these for myself. And last package we have is from Real Techniques. I have a feeling I know it's exactly in here. It's gonna be a bunch of their sponges with a bunch of their brush tools. Oh, we have this vegan soy candle that is in here. This candle smells so good. This is warm apple cider. Oh, that is beautiful. She's so pretty. We also have a makeup little pack. Great on the go. Oh my God, is this a jacket? Did they give me a varsity jacket? That is so cool. Thank you guys. Wow, it says creating my own story. That's so nice. Then we have Dare to Be You scrunchies and a cup. Whoa, we have gummy bears. Here are the brushes. I was like, girl, where are the brushes? Where is the actual real technique stuff? I love contrasting colors, especially orange and blue. These are so beautiful. This is from the brand Behave. Oh my God, they're so, they're so little. Mmm, mmm, whoa. I think Smart Sweets now has some definite competition because these are so freaking good. All right. Oh my God, those are so good. Now there is a mess. That was all the packages. I'm one minute late to my meeting, so I gotta go, but we'll clean this up in a little bit. Hello guys, good morning. It is the next day. It's the, what? What am I trying to say? It's the next day, you guys, and I have one last package to show you guys. This is one of my favorite NFT projects I've ever bought into, and they sent me a PR package, and I wanted to show you guys what I got. So this is from the NFT project called Noodles. I have bought like 12 noodles, and I've also sold like eight of them, all for like a really good price, so I've made money on this NFT project, and they sent me a package. Like I was saying earlier, I probably made like two or three Ethereum off of just selling these NFT projects and that's not the case on every single NFT project you buy. Like a lot of the times I actually lose money but this was, this was a good, good buy and I absolutely love the team. I have actually had a meeting with the team just cause they're really cool and I wanted to like pick their brain on if or when I wanna start my own NFT project, you know? Either way, they sent me their merch. They're so cute. So, they're called Noodles. Um, if you guys are in the NFT space, you guys will know that Doodles are like a blue chip NFT project. Noodles is one of their derivatives that are approved and they were just at South by Southwest and they sent me a bunch of merch. It's so cute. This reminds me of like the 90s slash early 2000s. And they also gave me a bunch of stickers that say like Noodles. I'll like post a photo of the two Noodles I currently own. But look out all the cute little stickers I got. All right, that is all. That is all the PR packages I've gotten. That was over like 35 packages. I'm gonna end this video here because I know it's like super duper long. So if you guys made it to the end of the video, comment down below. Um, comment down below, send me nudes, like N-O-O-D-S, just because I'm talking about noodles right now. That is all, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys, bye. <laughs> hey, you the best part of every single day. Oh, no matter what I do. I'll be lost in you